Developing tonight, North Carolina House Speaker Tim Moore facing a lawsuit over an affair accusation. The lawsuit refers to a state law that you may never have heard of. Channel 9's government reporter Joe Bruno is live in the studio with more about what's in the lawsuit. Joe? Well, not many states are like this, but North Carolina is. If your husband or wife cheats on you, you can sue the other person involved. It's called an alienation of affection lawsuit. House Speaker Tim Moore is facing one. This case in particular is, is quite fa uh, fascinating. David Simmons is a senior attorney with Sedoma Law in Charlotte. His firm isn't involved in House Speaker Tim Moore's case, but he handles alienation of affection cases often. North Carolina is one of six states where something like this can be filed. You would look to prove that you had a, a marriage with genuine love and affection. It doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but just a, a marriage with love and affection. Uh, that that marriage was, the love and affection in that marriage was destroyed, and it was destroyed because of the malicious acts of a third party. Former Apex Councilman Scott Lassiter is seeking damages from Moore. He claims the Cleveland County representative engaged in a three-year affair with his wife, saying in the lawsuit she had sex with him, including in groups with others seeking his political favor, and that she feared ending the relationship would mean losing her job. The wife, who is the executive director of the NC Conference of Courts, told WREL the lawsuit is false and the couple had a signed separation document for years. Simmons says a separation document doesn't necessarily change things. But as far as proving um, whether or not the, the acts of the third party have, have caused that marriage to no longer exist, um, you know, you're still going to have those questions, even if a separation agreement has been has been executed. Speaker Tim Moore told WRAL the lawsuit is baseless and we will vigorously defend this action and pursue all available legal remedies. Scott. All right, Joe, thank you for that update.